Well, hello everyone, it's James in Japan. It is March 20th, 2018, and it's a little cold today. So, uh, today's topic is about driving in Japan. If you want to drive in Japan, you need to bring an international driver's license. If you want to stay here longer in Japan, you need to switch your international driver's license to a Japanese driver's license. Okay, so about the rules. Okay, the rules of the road are pretty much the same as in North America. First of all, you drive on the right hand side. The steering wheel is on the right. And the, uh, the shift is to the left. And the rear view mirror is to your left. So you'll be looking to your left to look back. The speed limit in the city is 40 kilometers per hour, sometimes lower. And um, on wider streets, it's 50 kilometers per hour. And on highways, it's 80 kilometers per hour. Um, you can speed a bit as long as you're flowing with traffic. I mean, just don't go beyond that. Don't go zipping by everyone and don't do any zigzag moves. You'll be fine. The cops won't stop you. You cannot turn left or right on a red light. It's different here in Japan, all right? When you plan to turn at an intersection, you have to stay within these lines. There, there are two lines and you stay between them and there's an arrow pointing in the direction where you want to turn. So you have to stay between these two lines and let's say that you cross over and then oncoming traffic hits you. It's your fault. Uh, you're liable for that. Okay, to turn right, you get on the right side like this. And once that light turns green, I'll show you where to stop. Uh, the, the lines are faded in the center. There you go. Okay, how far do you go? And you stay like this. You don't turn the wheel to the right. Don't go out of the lines. In this case, the lines are faded, so you can't see the lines. See the guy in front of me? That's how far you're supposed to stop. And when it's safe to go, you turn and always look to your right and left. Make sure no one's crossing. You're turning left here. By the way, stop signs in Japan are triangular. Stop behind the white line. Wait a couple seconds. Approach it and let this lady pass. Make sure it's clear, it's clear. I'll be turning right again. So um, when you're passing a school, you don't necessarily need to slow down. It's different here in Japan, but better judgment tells you to slow down just in case. But most people just drive at a normal speed. Okay, here is the right side of the car. The steering wheel is on the right. The gear shift is to the left. The rear view mirror is to the left. The passenger side is to the left. Okay, there are the gauges. Uh, here in Japan, it goes by kilometers. Here is the navigator. Audio. Sorry guys, it's starting to rain a lot. So I'm going to end this video. So perhaps in the future, I'll make another video on driving in Japan. Thanks for watching. Bye.